Hey, it's White Boy Chris. If the Pat Down's ever made you laugh, then join our Patreon and support us. Get bonus content, a t-shirt, or an autographed copy of Rabbit, Miss Pat's autobiography. Visit misspatcomedy.com for the link to the Patreon, and while you're there, join our Facebook group. <laughs> Welcome to the next another episode of the Pat Down. I'm here with this crazy motherfucker, Dion and Chris, <laughs> sexy chocolate my ass. <laughs> so I was telling them my favorite song was Whitney Houston. Uh, children of the future I believe the children of the future Teach them well And let them lead the way That was good Shut the <laughs> fuck up <laughs> A beauty of the episode <laughs> Sexual <laughs> chocolate Shut the fuck up Stay tuned after the music Y'all will be right back You better get up Get out and tune into this podcast This Pat spit the truth Spit the real fact Nothing but the ugly classy at the same time. Pat got the flavor, these are not the same line. That's the politics, she been on the real grind. It could be pretty but ugly at the same time. Just tune in, put your lock on the spin down. Ain't no need for the wait and turn her up now. What you talking about? It's real though. And cut the game, you get no play like Nintendo. You wait the time, turn it up, nothing but the ugly. Straight off the top, everything she say, you know it's funny. Full blast, this is taste of the future. Listen on your iPhone or your desktop computer. Cherry, sweet it, ain't no way to beat it. Nothing but the ugly, turn it up and gon' repeat it. Nothing but the ugly. See, he got his. It was a total mix-up, but he got his his sister and his wife confused last night. Oh, did he? Yeah. That was his. Yeah, that was his sister. Yeah. I didn't even watch it. Oh, uh, Joe Biden. So Super Tuesday. I love Super Tuesday because it really give you the uh, opportunity to get out and pick your candidate. And yeah, this fucked up how they don't close all the po- the voting bo- voting polls in certain neighborhoods. And um, I'm glad people hung out. You know, yeah. really stayed in line for to vote. And so uh, my friend, my writer of my show, he really fucking love Elizabeth Warren. But I was like, uh, I like Elizabeth too, but I don't think nobody, she too, she too much. I don't think she going to get it. So this is before Super Tuesday. Yeah. And so make a long story short, she didn't get it shit and Bloomberg didn't get shit. <laughs> you know what's crazy about Trump is that <laughs> Bloomberg was his friend and he just started calling him man Mini Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see him at the rally when yeah, he got that, down yeah. on the podium? When he was talking about and Mini Mike. <laughs> he was up there and he had so he did so bad. <laughs> hold on. Oh, oh, I can't get it. Hold on. And then he like gets down, he puts his <laughs> the eye level at the podium and he goes, This is what he looked like. And the whole crowd just loses it. Look up CPAC Trump impression. It was just hilarious. Donald Trump, like, I'm not a Trump fan. I think he's a terrible president, but he's so funny. He's so funny. (laughs) Then he brought them two black bitches out there, Mammy and Sammy. Uh, (laughs) Diamond Diamond and Silk. Silk. I want to know how the fuck can two ugly bitches like that be named Diamond and Silk? (laughs) Silk and diamonds are good shit. I'm sorry, y'all. That is dish rag and dirty dish rag. Okay. (laughs) She called them rock. Rockin' polyester the other day. Yeah, that's what they rockin' polyester. That's what they is rockin' polyester, nigga. Cotton and polyester. They fucking wigs look like they glued on for six months and shit. And they was trying to rap for Trump, and he back there just. I said, this is the funniest shit. I know some of y'all hate Trump, and I know some of y'all are Trump supporters. What I do like about Donald Trump is he. Give me, your, give me your phone. I'll see if I can look it up. Diamond. He fucking keeps me laughing, nigga. I, you know, you you be mad at him because he done went out and you think he done did something racist. But then he get behind the podium and say, this is what Mike look like. I said, this nigga is crazy. He has figured out that memes win elections as long as you control the memes. So hugging a flag when he walks out or mini Mike or that. He just... He and it's because he's an entertainer first and foremost. He and if you go back, I watched it on the way back from San Francisco on the plane. It's called Trump: An American Dynasty, and it's a three-part series on Netflix. And you you realize he's been this guy since 1983. Oh like yeah, he, oh yeah. He, and he, only he difference just knows was, he was his hair. But he, I'm sorry, but he makes the ugliest kids. <laughs> oh my god When I they put a, up that beaver and butthead with them boys Before that plastic surgery Tell them some ugly thing. Some people need to be blessed with riches Because baby <laughs> Baby They wouldn't get no pussy at Taps and Doll 
They wouldn't get no pussy at Hooters. A motherfucking uh, what's that other place y'all be going to eat? Buffalo Wild Buffalo Wild Wings. Wing. They wouldn't get no <laughs> pussy there back if they if they wasn't the Trumps. Them some one of them motherfuckers. His teeth were so small in his mouth. Every he eating well frozen like, meal is made with one cup of vegetables. That's one. our I don't know promise. If you can, hold on, always Sorry. one cup. I hear that? Turn that shit off. What Two is that's a wrap? People, diamond and silk, right? <laughs> Diamond All right, if you if you don't know who Diamond and Silk are, there are two black women who are oh they big know who the fuck Di- Diamond right. and Silk is. Right. Even black people, them bitches ain't black. Turn it up. Where are they? They about to rap, y'all. Listen to this shit. Turn it up on the side of my phone. And I saw Minnie Mike on Fox. Uh huh. Minnie, Minnie. <laughs> President Trump is this hot? Uh huh. You got. And the one with her hair going to the side, she's so black on this thing. Now, while the media continue to play the race card, we gonna continue to play the Trump card so we can win, win, and win. I just want to know where he get these bitches from. They, I'll give you two guesses. Get the fuck off stage. Get the fuck off stage. While they continue to play the race card, we're gonna play the Trump card. (sighs) Jesus Christ. You know, the first lady, a long time ago now, right? How long is that? Probably almost five years ago. She said, you know, there are these two women on the internet. They're unbelievable. Oh, my God. Melania found these bitches. Said, oh, I know. <laughs> that makes a lot of fucking sense. You know she's not doing anything. She's just on YouTube all day going, how to get out of here. They're unbelievable. I said, let me see. I saw them. I fell in love, and everybody fell in love with oh, her. Oh, you lying. True. I love my president. <laughs> he, just, he blamed his wife for the horribleness that is <laughs> rocking polyester. <laughs> Fucking he said, Jesus. well, she would be good to find rocking polyester. That's what her body and face is made of. <laughs> these, these two are so smart because here's what, having been a Republican, if they find a celebrity, a black person, a woman, a Hispanic, they just, they cannot believe they tokenize. They, they, oh, absolutely. They got Chuck Norris. We got Chuck Norris and Vince Vaughn. Fuck you, liberals. Like, Diamond and Silk went, oh, we're going to ride this money train all the way. Because you know they're making money. Oh, they're making. Sh- oh, the, the, you know what? They were, I believe they were two my- fat bitches with synthetic wig when this shit began. Yep. These hoes got human hair now. And the other one <laughs> have lost <laughs> weight. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you know how much white dick you have to suck to get human hair? Yeah. Ain't no, but them hoes was fat. They was big. They was unfuckable. They was the type of bitches that you only bought your fucking uh, designer birthday cakes from. <laughs> they was that type of bitches. <laughs> now they got human hair and the black one done got thin. And I'm telling you, the wigs are looking better. I, I need to go work for Trump. I, I, I'm not shocked that Melania was the one to find this Melania too. ain't found the motherfucking She's thing. She's always stealing something from a black woman, so I guarantee you she was probably trying to find something to steal from those two raggedy bitches. No, I'm telling you that Trump found him, bitch, because he couldn't sleep. Now, you know my, not Melania be sleep. That, Trump is lying. He always put other shit on other people. He was on the internet, and he said... <laughs> He was saying he's five probably, years ago. He's he said, probably jerking off. To this look, no, he said, this is what he said. He said, I need some black people. And he just typed in black people who like Republican. And them two fat bitches popped up at Popeye's. And he was like, they need a job. Because <laughs> he knew the Popeye's sandwich was going to get them killed. So he gave him a job before Popeye's <laughs> created the <a> sandwich. <laughs> Because if he didn't get them, Popeye was going to get them. Can you see them bitches rapping for Popeye? His chicken show real good. <laughs> <laughs> one crunching and the other one rapping. She swallowed and she started rapping. I said chicken, I said spicy. I said original, I said spicy. <laughs> can I get a pop? I need a pop. I yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can we get some dirty rice? <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Give me that goddamn strawberry drink. <laughs> <laughs> and did I tell you, nigga, about the buttery biscuits? <laughs> so 
No, they were about to get snatched up by Popeye, <laughs> and he snatched them up. You got to love this, man, because that was the right advertisement. He was like, you bitches hang in now. I win. You going to go from this motherfucking poodle dick on your head to Beyonce <laughs> hair. Look at them now. Look at them bitches out. Them wigs are flowing. You know synthetic wigs don't move. Them motherfuckers like, you ever try to put a fan on a bitch with a plastic surgery? And you know, most of the time when you put air in a motherfucker mouth, they jaw shake like it's sucking dick. But when people got plastic surgery, they just, and he about to drown them. <laughs> Too many visuals at once. <laughs> that brain of yours is amazing. Yeah, you stick them bitches in front of that fan when Trump first got licked. Them wigs, that wig will fight back. They wigs were like Trump and then they just flowing and shit. I said, ooh, these bitches got some nice hell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Popeye's madder than the motherfucker. Like, look at them two mammies. We could have got them bitches. <laughs> I know Popeye was going to get them pine saw. You want your house to smell good? Diamond and silk got that hat. <laughs> Diamond and silk going to make your shit smell good. Love that chicken from Popeye. Mm-hmm. Mop your flow so I can see my wig in your flows. <laughs> <laughs> fat bitch, they always getting fat bitch, and I can see, I can see that big one, the little short one who looking like motherfucking Roly Poly. I can see her on the floor mopping the floor with her stomach. I told you, pie so I get up every damn thing. <laughs> she just using her stomach, not a mouth. Mm. She's turned up into, into Shamwell. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what they are. Like, I think of Tommy Lauren as just like a t- a cheap salesperson for, like, just there. And every party hat, like, and the libertarians have the people who just go out and say these cliche bullshit. Let me lines. ask you something. I was gonna ask you somebody mm-hmm. libertarian shit. Mm-hmm. Who you gonna vote for, nigga? I have no idea. I honestly don't. I wouldn't vote for Trump, and I wouldn't vote for any of the Democrats. So and you gonna say that out? No, I mean the libertarians will have their convention and they'll nominate somebody, and if they're okay, I'll probably vote for them. You wasting a vote. It's not a wasted vote. It's my vote. I own my vote. Excuse me, white man. It's called free speech. Look it up. Bitch, I know what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't buy that. Like I'm not gonna I think a but wasted vote. Your, your, your candidate don't have a chance of winning. I don't care. It's oh, a, okay. All right. Like it, to, Just as long not, as you vote. I, I have strong beliefs and I think that voting for somebody that doesn't agree with your beliefs is a wasted vote. Which is why I didn't vote for Trump or Hillary. Yeah. So who you gonna vote for? Bernie Sanders, if if I'm lucky. Nigga, you ain't lucky. I, I, I might, I'm, I'm, I might write him. In. The way they did him like on Super, <laughs> the way, like, like that, just something seems odd to me. How fucking Biden won 29 goddamn states yesterday, like. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck about Biden win, but his wife handled that protester. Baby, the way she grabbed a hold of that bitch, like, uh uh-uh, uh, bitch, I put you in the headlock like Michelle Obama. She was not playing by that old nigga. What happened? He was on stage protesting. I'm not, well, he, I'm sorry. He was on stage doing his little speech. Yeah, up Joe Biden was on stage? Yeah. yeah. Joe Biden, his wife, and his sister. And uh, uh, some crazy bitch ran up there. And after they get her, another one jumped out of nowhere. And Biden's wife literally put hands on that bitch. <laughs> and I was like, well, damn, first lady to be. You go fight a nigga. So, yeah. Joe Biden's kind of a badass. She's like, I don't dislike Joe Biden Joe Biden? He, he's Jill Biden. Jill oh, Jill. Jill. Jill oh, they both Jill and Jill. She's a doctor of something, but she's she uh, she always struck me. They both always struck me as like really good people, and it, they don't they seem to be well meaning. Like Bernie Sanders, I don't agree with you on Bernie Sanders. I think Bernie knows he can't get half the shit he's talking about done, and he fools people. That doesn't mean it's not the right thing to do. Just because you can't get it done doesn't mean it's the right. Thing and do. you could say that to me about libertarians totally. I, right. They I have think, no chance of winning because they don't have funding. Right. Like no one knows who they are. That's the only reason they don't So you win. just really in the you you eat at the table with the fat kids. That's fine with me. At least oh. yeah. I, I, I have I have no shame about voting libertarian whatsoever. Oh, I know you don't. Y'all just Republicans who tied a Republican. That is that's not it. true. Let's talk about police brutality and then all of a sudden I'm a Democrat. I mean that, that's the thing, like libertarians don't kind of fit into any mold. Well, I hope y'all get old. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all niggas lose all the fucking time. Y'all get 872 votes across the world. That's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Tulsi Gabbard got one delegate last night. Bitch, if you don't get off the goddamn screen. (laughs) Exactly. Who? You don't know who Tulsi Gabbard is? No, I heard of her. She's uh, She's from Hawaii. Is that the lady with the black hair? Yeah. 
Oh, the, fuck off. And the white stripe. Nigga, they had everybody's count up there. Fucking <laughs> Joe Biden was in first. Poor Tulsi. She only had one. It was just one. Well, was like, who gave her that? Her mama? Was that, was that her mama? <laughs> it was America Did she drop Samoa. out yet? No, it was America What's Samoa. What's she waiting on? She is, she says that she's, I, I, I saw some commentators say that she's running to talk about anti-war and, and hold the Democratic Party accountable for not being anti-war enough. Because she's a former veteran. And frankly, she has a point. This country don't give a fuck about veterans. They really don't. No, not they at don't all. give. They say they give a fuck about veterans, but yet instead, y'all let Pete Buttigieg, Buttigieg get out of there. Right. And so, what is really shitty is Hillary Clinton got into a spat with Tulsi Gabbard because Tulsi Gabbard criticized her for being too pro-war, and so now everybody who's a Democrat is like, "Oh, fuck Tulsi Gabbard." When if you listen to what she's saying. Most they don't want to listen. Would, the Democrat right. Party, and I'm a Democrat. They fucking suck. You know, we. I, I this is how I feel. I think the, they don't like change. The, re, the Republican Party is too white, and they don't like change. And they only look out for people that look like them. And I'm, that's just my opinion. And the Democrats are a bunch of dickheads. They're a bunch of fucking idiots. They they spite their nose or the saying. You yeah, and they try to get people face. to vote on what they're gonna give them for free. Mm-hmm. You know, and when they when they, when. I don't really think they be. I don't really think a lot of the people that runs up on the Democrat really gives a fuck about Democrat. Like I liked um, the tall white guy from Texas, Beto. I love Beto. I was hoping he stayed in there because I felt like we needed a change. We needed something different. Somebody who really fucking care. You get the same old half dead ass people. The Clintons, the Bidens, the fucking. Um, uh, Trump is new to this shit, but he had dead anyway. You know, the the, the bushes. It's yeah. the same old bullshit just keep being passed down with no change. No, that's why if I were if I were a liberal, if I were a Democrat, I totally agree with Dion. Do you like uh, uh, the girl from New York, the senator from New York who everybody hates? Klobuchar? No. Uh, Christian Gillibrand? No, the one who used to be a bartender. Oh, oh AOC? No. He, he hates AOC. No, I don't. I, I, hate, AOC. I don't hate AOC at all. I actually like AOC in that... She brings up a lot of issues that I really care about, and I think she talks about them very effectively. I feel like she really cares. I don't. I don't agree with her solutions, but I do agree that, like, criminal justice, for instance, I think she's right on on a lot of that stuff. Like, that's what I think a lot of people don't understand about libertarians and and a lot of conservatives. It's like we don't necessarily disagree with the problem. It's that we have disagreements on the solution, and often we don't talk about like we focus on. Like, like Medicare for all in our in our bonus episode. If you join our Patreon, you can hear us talk for ninety minutes about Medicare for all and debate it. It's like I don't disagree with you guys at all when we talked about it. Like in terms of the problems, we just disagree. Like, what does the end result look like? How right, do we fix right, the problem? Right. Like, there's no doubt that medical coverage in this country is completely screwed up. But how do we fix it? I don't understand it? why we pay more for drugs than other countries when the drugs are fucking from right, here. We I greedy. We, I, again, I, we I don't, don't care about each other. I don't want to get into that because we talked about it, you know. But my point give, is... Give me another story. But, yeah, my... And we can go to break, too. Um, but I like AOC because I think AOC talks a lot about... A, a lot about stuff that needs to be talked about. You know, when I first... When she changed her name, what's her name? I don't know. I didn't know she had a different name. Oh, name. Those are her initials. Oh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. So when she, when she first came out, she was Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, it was like your tongue was fighting your teeth. What? Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Alexandria Chicago. I don't fucking know her name. <laughs> Alexandria Chicago Cortez. <laughs> yes. So when they changed her name to AOC, and they kept hollering AOC, AOC. I'm like, I thought it was name of a healthcare that was coming out of some shit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is all this AOC everybody talking about? And they're like, we need. To Get rid of this AOC. I'm like, what the fuck is AOC? They, I thought it was like AARP or some <laughs> shit. They sure did because you keep fucking it up. That's uh, why. When I had my tire flat out here, I kept trying to call AOC and they couldn't, they couldn't come out and fix it. You should have called AOC. That bitch would have came and made somebody told your ass. I was like, what the fuck is this AOC well, shit? Let's say it one more time, please. Alexander Cortez? No, say it all. Say the whole. Ale- what's her name? Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. Alexander. Costasius Ose What? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Alexander Costasius <laughs> Cortez. 
I don't fucking know that lady name. I'm glad they put AOC because regular nigga like me can't pronounce that shit. <laughs> the words are crip walking out your mouth. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Ain't nobody tell that lady name that baby all that bullshit. <laughs> Alexander. Cool. What, Chicago? <laughs> Car Jack and Taz? <laughs> <laughs> that shit crazy. <laughs> What's another story, nigga? I feel so we fucking crazy. Break, oh, we gotta take a break because I gotta pay a gas. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> we wanna talk about the hospital worker arrested for sucking toes? Yep. That sounds perfect. <laughs> All right, we're back in Dion got one of these crazy. This is a Chris story. Chris, this, yeah. Chris said this. Oh me. God! So go so ahead. This Chris. sound like some shit Chris would do. Too. I got to pull it up here. So I got it right here. The this pay- is some shit Chris would do. Is that what you just said? <laughs> it, yeah, Chris would do it. Uh, you know what? First of all, this nigga look like he be would do some. Was dumb he black? Shit. Look at this goofy ass looking nigga. Ooh, that nigga there. <laughs> yeah, that nigga look like he was in the five heartbeats. <laughs> It, he's he looks got, exactly like the dude from Five Heartbeats. Jeez, and what was he doing, Chris? A hospital worker in the United States has been arrested after he reportedly sucked a patient's toes. He denies the allegations. The patient, described as a 65-year-old person, claims she felt her foot being touched at around 11 p.m. in Florida. Of course, of course it's always Florida. Florida story. Initially, the patient said she thought a nurse was checking for swelling. It was only after being touched a third time and feeling wetness between her toes that she looked up and claimed she saw uh, sitter Franz Beldorin on his knees next to the bed and bent over her foot. Can we follow? He's 23 years old, yeah. And what happened now? All right, so he, he says this is all a misunderstanding. It's totally creepy. Nigga, now with your slob between her toes. He said, my hand is on the bed. Yes, it's close to her, but I'm reaching to get my phone or drop my phone under the bed as I'm trying to get the phone. She kicks. She's afraid, and we're in the dark. It's a dark room with a dark male at the foot of her bed. I can understand, but I'm not trying to do that with you. For what? So uh, there, uh, he, he says that it's not true whatsoever, but... I don't know. You feel wetness between your toes. It's not like you, you know. Nigga dropped, your- dropped his phone. Why are you? Why are you? You he a nurse? He's a he was a nurse apparently. Yeah. So why are you in that lady room at that time of morning? And then who people? You know when your fucking toes are being sucked on. And this motherfucker looked like uh, Candy Man. You remember the man who played in the movie <laughs> Candy Man? <laughs> you remember Candy Man? Yeah, he looks Candy like the Man. Black Grinch. Yeah, he do. He looks like Cindy Lou Who's looks on like he, You can tell he sucked toe. His mouth is shaped like a toe. <laughs> you suck them toe, nigga. Who you think you fooling? You ain't fooling nobody. 65 year old toes, man. I mean, 65 year old. Can you imagine the. Oh, bunions on those feed people though that they love the like grosser the better. Like I, if you, I watch some like documentary or something about toe people and they're really like the smellier the better. It's like there's a weird I, subculture for sure. I do not understand it. The number one post at work is Christy Lee's feet. <laughs> like they posted a picture. I'm telling you, Miss Pat, you start selling your feet pics on the internet. You won't need to drive. They see lift. my feet. I'm telling you, they see my feet. They gon' they gonna ask somebody to chop these dog toes <laughs> off. The crust of feet the better. That's all I'm no, saying. No, I got crust too. So I ain't been to the fucking nail shop, but I now just, I just seen a. Uh, uh, it was an ad on Facebook. A girl, she was 23 and she was selling her feet pics. She makes five thousand dollars a month just selling pictures of her feet. Were they pretty? I don't know. I didn't look. These happy. people don't care. Yeah, they care if they see my ass. I'm pretty. You I'm could telling probably, you, you could probably make an easy a thousand dollars. I don't want to sell my feet. First of all, I have no toenail on my very small toe. That's what they like. It looked like a short little dick. <laughs> if you're a foot person, get in the group and admit it. Just tell us what's going on. Why are you into feet? Do you like feet with small toenails? I mean, little bitty toenails. I mean, the toenails don't even grow all the way. And then when I go to the nail shop, I try to get a half price because they don't have to paint a whole toe. So I found one of my brother's porns back in <laughs> back in high school, and he had foot porn. There's my oldest brother's into foot foot porn. <sighs> He's got a foot fetish, and it was the weirdest, dumbest shit. It's just a bunch of dudes what is jerking f- off on people's feet. You ever- I'm like, how does this turn you on? It's more man penis than anything else. <laughs> Do he still have that? I don't know. Uh, that doesn't go away. Oh, jeez. There's no way that goes you away. You shoot off on people's feet? So do you treat people's feet like you treat an ugly bitch face? Oh, them feet too ugly yes. for me. Yeah. My, my, I have girlfriends who have dated feet guys, and it's a foot job, like a hand job. Dave Chappelle told a joke about you can't rape feet. 
So he <laughs> he likes he likes he likes feet too. <laughs> Ew. It's weird. I don't get I don't feet smell. I mean they smell. Who is that? That's Gariana. Hey Gariana, do you like feet? She said no, I don't like feet. I mean, who would jack off on a foot? Apparently a guy who would suck no a 65-year-old's to, toes. There's no way to stick your penis in there. Well, you, I think you, you, you like make a sandwich. together like this, yeah. seeing it so how it forms a little vagina. Like a hot dog. And you just, who puts it at me? You, <laughs> I don't know. My, I got big feet. Not everybody's feet is my size. Well, your ooh, feet are much smaller than mine. But can't nobody dick fit in that? And who the fuck going to keep this hurt? <laughs> Who the fuck gonna they put low in the video. I'm talking about the muscles I'm using to hold the feet up for you to <laughs> fuck the feet. Well, you would be laying down. You're not. Oh, you're, you're not tightening your own shoes. Let's be honest. You're not giving foot jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right, nigga. I ain't never had nobody like you. Well, my feet. I remember when uh, I used to work at McDonald's and I had corns on now, and I didn't know they get all the way down in there. And my husband cut it off and pulled it out. That was some painful shit. That's disgusting. Yeah, so I I don't know who in the fuck will so, want. Some people like like feet. It's some people like the titty fuck. I I don't understand it, but I've yeah. met a people who wanted the titty fuck, and then probably because I'm top heavy. Yeah, but I don't like the dick on my chin. <laughs> Gariana, <laughs> Gariana's in the other room here, just making. I don't I don't like to be titty fucked. I, I don't I don't like to be bothered. I'm almost fifty. It's always sweet, though, if you do like it when a girl goes, I'll, I'll try. I go, no, you got eight cups. It's not <laughs> you be to rip that bitch back out. <laughs> How are you going to try? Gary, I'm give me a piece of pizza, baby. <laughs> How are you going to try to fuck uh, 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 a cup? They're like sticking your, your dick in one of them little... Um, they like trying to pull, you know, them little styrofoam cups your mama used to make the fucking frozen Kool Aid in. Oh, the Dixie coolie cups. cups. The little coolie cups, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't pull no A cup together. Nigga, all that extra parking space in between her chest. <laughs> you be done rip that bitch yeah. under arms yeah. off her. It, Pepperoni. If it's not if it's not a D cup, you're kinda wasting your time. Yeah. It's more work than I mean, like my pleasure. niece, my niece got a bad body right and she's in Texas, but she have no titties. So from the waist up, the bitch look like a boy. She she all areolas and nipples. <laughs> That's all she got is fucking huge ass nipples and areolas. Just laying on her chest like it ain't shit. You want a piece of pizza? No, I'm good. Yeah. We're, we're podcasting. Nobody wants yeah. to hear us eating. But you clearly don't give a damn. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm fucking up my diet too. But I'm taking the headphones off. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't um drive me insane. I don't I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the, the I, I have that disease where hearing people eat makes you want to kill. What decency? Is that the disease? <laughs> I, I, it's Just, called misophonia or something like that. Oh really? Where, like when you hear people eat it, like literally puts you in a rage. I have that <laughs> big, like it makes me want to fucking hurt people when I hear them chewing. That's why when we did the crackers, you got so mad yeah, at I me was, about it. Yeah, like it's a real thing. Like I was just like, it's kind of like people thought it was funny. It's Dion, it's like, and you're like, no, no. I, I want to kill. Like it's the worst. Just like ASMR. Just you know how nuts? some people can't like take the chalkboard, the nails yep. on the. That's what it's like. But it's like a million times worse than that. Yep. Oh, it drives me insane. Well, that's why when she calls me and she's eating, I'm like, call me fucking back. <laughs> I can. I don't understand why you can't talk, swallow, and talk. Because nobody, it's not that I can't, it's just I don't want to hear it because the sound literally makes me want to kill. Like it makes me want to hurt you. So, nigga, all I got to do is say, I need you to kill that beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I can't hear it. <laughs> I think it's funny. I can control you with a chew, nigga. Probably if, yeah, if I had headphones on. It's just, it could control you with a chew. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is torture. Oh. Uh. Absolute torture. Well, honey, uh, don't nothing bother me. This is a pizza. Um, where did it come from, Gary? I'm? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. You shouldn't buy the hood. Don't buy the hood. Not, not good. Yeah. We no. support. Is it not hot? It's good. 
I'm a Papa John's man. Fuck Papa John's. Don't buy Papa John's. I love racist Papa John's. They racist. He has nothing to do with the company. They make it's it his delicious. It's his goddamn. Co- it's his fucking name on it. He's he's been kicked out of the no, company. No, he hasn't. Yes, he, he has. He's just not on the board of he operators. Has nothing he still to do with has, it. No, he still makes money off the fucking pizza. He's just not in the boardroom. I don't care. Man, he done it's fooled tasty. y'all all. Tasty. And stuff. it does. It don't buy Papa John's. You got two black friends. <laughs> okay. And he got a lot of plastic surgery, and we don't pay for that shit. Well, what am I going to do with all that Papa dough now? What Papa dough? I've saved up so many points, I can buy so many free pizzas. Now well, what you, do I do? You don't well, spend a dime if you got free points. Eat your pizza. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> bring your white ass over here and feed these damn crack babies I got off them Papa doughs. I, I got I, I I got it the other night, and the first time the delivery driver goes, "Thank you for the tip." And it was like three or four bucks, but I go. I've never been thanked for giving someone a tip before. I've ordered thousands of pizzas at this point. Have you ever been thanked for a tip? Usually, yeah. It's mm. some young kid, though. Was it an adult? It was like a young lady. I was thanked for a tip when I told him nigga the police would come to get him. <laughs> <laughs> that is not tip. the same tip, Miss Pat. <laughs> a tip is a tip, nigga. <laughs> like the police up the street in the bush, you better get your motherfucking ass up out of here. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> uh, yeah. I had to think of crackhead one time for a tip. He said, Rabbit, police up there on the ground with binoculars looking at you. I said, nigga, let me get in the coat with you. <laughs> <laughs> He said, lay back. And he rolled me by the police. The little police officer named Beard. That nigga did everything and locked me up. And he was up there looking at me, too. So I left, and that's how my cousin got caught. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 52 sacks of crack. You ever just look back on your old life and your life now and just can't believe the difference? Yeah. I mean, like, what the fuck was I thinking? Like, when I talk about having crabs going to rear fleas on stage, I cannot believe that I kept going back getting burnt. I can't either. Like, I know. The first time a nigga asked me to split half my pills, I'm telling that motherfucker to go fuck himself. Right. Yeah. Like, like he if was, you're that lazy to where you don't want to get rid, like, why would he not want to go? <laughs> that makes no sense to me. Dick was looking like a fluke. <laughs> Like a, he, had, he had a corona dick <laughs> She said his dick looked like a slave's back Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ Looked like a textbook for, <laughs> from February <laughs> I'm telling you that, that, uh, I uh, look back at him and I was like How did I put up with that shit yeah. You were 12 and You didn't know it's, better It's not hard to indoctrinate a child Yeah At all Especially don't know what a child they mean, but it sounds like control. So, yeah. He, but I he look, got in your mind. Like, yeah. He said that magic word, I love you. Yeah. He gave you the one thing you thought you were looking for, which was love. The and worst kind of love. The, was, I don't want to go get my gonorrhea shot love. No, and he no, don't no, even was, like me now. She, she was listed first on the sexual partners list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot you got to be number one. <laughs> yeah, I was number one. And you know what's great? He do not like me. Probably because he's listened to the podcast. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't even think he know how, what a podcast he is, honey. Good. He still catch the bus, but he go, he roller skate. <laughs> he roller skate to the bus stop, get on the bus, and roller skate to his job, and then roller skate, roller skate on Sunday. I want. I be want to ask him sometimes, do you still suck your thumb? He's a suck his thumb. They used to call him spit stick, right? And this is going to sound disgusting. This is how stupid I was. He would literally suck his thumb, and he had buck teeth. And so some of the slot running down his thumb, he would lick it back up. <laughs> Why is that the most disgusting thing you've ever told us about this guy? Yeah. I almost threw up. <laughs> Yeah, he, I, I, last I seen him, he was still sucking his thumb, but I always wanted to do it because he's like 55 now. Yeah. And I'm wondering, do he still suck his thumb? What's he do for a living now? He work, he'll change oil. Okay. But yeah, he, he literally... Has sucked. he ever apologized to you for any other things he's done, like no. shooting you in the back of the head or fucking giving you STDs or molesting cheating you. on you? Or he don't pregnant. call it molesting. He said he didn't know I was 12. But that doesn't matter. That nigga know yeah. I was 12. Yeah. Let me tell you why I know that nigga know I was 12 years old. Cause when he came on my house the next day, I wrote, I said, will you be my boyfriend? Check, boss, yes or no. <laughs> Don't know I do that shit, but a kid, he checked yes. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Your molester check yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so it's no Please longer. Please tell me this paper still exists so we can lock this nigga up. <laughs> <laughs> but, so I you guess that we can see. Wrote, you hand wrote your own <laughs> jail sentence. It's unbelievable. No, I wrote it. I said, He's I said, because well, I'm in the fucking seventh grade. So I said, will you be my boyfriend? Check she yes or no. Those fucking little right. flower <laughs> things. Yeah, the, the little like game that. Yeah, yeah the, the little, little paper origami things that <laughs> girls make. Yeah. Yeah, Pink a color, B L U E. Will you be mine? You know, she's at lunch and she's talking to her friend. She's like, "He's so cute." I'm gonna ask, and she's probably thinking, "He, oh, he's probably an eighth grader." No, he's <laughs> grown ass man. But yeah, literally, I told him, I said, "Check the box," and I literally gave my molester consent. Please tell me he had a crayon. He didn't use a pencil. <laughs> I was. It was a pencil. I used a pencil, and I grabbed some paper off the TV when he came back the next day, and I was like, "Oh, maybe a nice boyfriend." And, you know, my sister was having sex and they had boyfriends and shit. And they was like, ain't nobody going to be waiting on you. You got to get that pussy up. And I'm like, get a pussy up. What's the pussy? No. But this is my dumb sister. Them. And so they were like, you got to let get that boy some pussy. And I was like, well, don't he need to be my boyfriend first? And then I was like, well, how do you ask him to be your boyfriend? They like, like you act, just tell the nigga he's your boyfriend. But I'm in school and they ain't. They somewhere getting high, smoking weed, being hoes, selling pussy. This white dude used to come to the neighborhood all the time. So the people you should have listened to. <laughs> yeah. So when he came back, I just asked him to check the box and he said, yeah. And so. Nigga, you just said your sister encouraged you to be molested. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, they had been molested. That wasn't nothing new. Jesus it wasn't. Fucking Christ. <laughs> It was nothing new. Bitch, you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> yeah. You got to ask. Like, you got to suck that nigga dick. I was like, what? The fuck is sucking dick? I didn't know what sucking dick was. Jesus Christ. She's like, you, you got to get have. that. You were supposed to get that nigga some pussy. And then, what was so crazy? Like, we would go out and have sex in the graveyard, in the parks. It was never nowhere appropriate. In his car. In empty house, I remember going in an empty house. It was house. nowhere appropriate. You were twelve. The yeah, vagina, there was no place the on earth. Ass, nowhere appropriate. There yeah. was no. Place. He would take me to the empty house next door to my house, and one time. <laughs> 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 and it was upstairs. Oh. <laughs> so it was this lady named Catfish House. She moved out of it. So we used to go in Catfish Old House upstairs. And um uh he would, one time his ex girlfriend was there and they was in the other room. We was in the other room. Like we were paying rent or some shit. You catfished him. He thought you were older than twelve. <laughs> no, the lady house was named Catfish. Uh, no, he didn't think I was old. He knew I was fucking 12. I mean, who the fuck don't know I'm 12? I'm like, check yes or no. You be my boyfriend. I was like, okay, we boyfriend and girlfriend. To be fair, he wrote, I, you love. So <laughs> oh, he, <did. laughs> he, he might not have known what he was signing. Yeah, he did buy me. He bought me a card that said, I, you love. And I'm like, you know, I'm about to sell me great. At least I can spell I love you. And I'm like, why you spell you in love wrong? He said, oh, it was dog. My, my, I cut my thumb. And you know, I'm a kid. I thought that he could really cut, cut his thumb. I don't know why he's spelling this shit wrong. <laughs> I didn't get he was dumb until a long time. I was like, this nigga can't read. And literally, like, when he had to go fill out a job application, he would come over to me, and he would have his whole hand wrapped up like he hurt himself. And so, you know, like, and I said, what happened So he to would you? pretend to hurt himself yeah. just to avoid... Telling me he couldn't read. So yeah, he was like, he, he was like, he was like, my, I cut my hand. Fixing the car And so like two day, The next day His hand will be alright And then I'm saying As a kid You can't comprehend All these fucking schemes This old nigga running on you But now that you look back You like Oh Like he used to take me And, and I, I don't ever say his name But he used to take me To this This this, this gay dude house Right Everybody knew this guy was gay And he would tell me To stay in the car We're gonna, He said I'm going in here And get some skating ring money And I would be out there For like two hours So when I got <laughs> Just sitting in the car. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> yeah. When I put two and two together, I, said, I think he was bisexual. He came back smelling like brand new booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes it would take like 30 minutes or an hour. And I'd just be sitting there and I never said, What was you doing? But I knew in that building, like we live, it was off of Martin Luther King. And then we're back. You were concentrating on your fractions. <laughs> <laughs> you had homework to do. And like on Martin Luther King in Atlanta, Georgia, that's where all this is before they was called transition trans transgenders. They was called sissies back then. This is where they sold dick at on Martin Luther King. And so that's where they all was at. And we would go to the house where all of them lived at. And I knew that they lived there, but I could not put two and two together. I think 
like when I think back now, what made me think about that is one time Ashley told me he had a girlfriend that said he liked dildos in the ass. And so um, uh, I was like, oh, that's what he was doing in that house. Wait, 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 wait. He was getting pegged? That's what Ashley said. That a girl, one of his girlfriends said. And so she was like, he liked to be pegged. And I'm like, what the fuck is pegged, bitch? And then she told me. And then that she started bringing back memories all the times I sat in the car waiting on the, the skate <laughs> ring money. <laughs> skate ring money? <laughs> How much did the skate ring cost? <laughs> like, like $5. So I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting paid for five bucks. I don't know. I, you said that, not me. I'm just telling you when when that came up, I started to remember shit, and I would be out there for like an hour, sometimes two hours. Say, what is he doing in there? Enjoying himself. <laughs> <laughs> so was he prostituting himself, or was I don't know. I can't. I never had the guts to ask him. Wait, you know, if he left that house with money, that's how prostitution works. Yeah, because it was like, be. yeah. he was like, I'm going to go ahead and get some skate ring money for my friend. That's what he always so, said. So was the gay guy fucking him or was he fucking the gay guy? I don't know. I don't. I just knew that the gay men lived in that house, Omar Luther King. Like nobody said bye or no shit like that. <laughs> nobody did any of that. Sexuality is fluid, Dion. Why does it have to be one or the other? Because it makes a difference. <laughs> yeah. it, it definitely makes a difference. If, if he's re- like, I tell you this about him, like Marquette, it was big gay place because his, his brother was uh, about, he's he went with a transgender. Again, they didn't call him transgender back then, right. but he went, he stayed with a transgender woman, and so um, they hung in the Marquette, which was a gay club, and I couldn't understand why the fuck was he always hanging in that gay club. It was nothing but gay men in there. Well, it was both, I guess. But he took me in there one time. I was like, how can you party with them? And they would be in there. And he told me, he would tell me stories like um, he was dancing one night and he didn't realize it was a man until the lights came on. It's a gay club, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't realize a lot of this stuff until I got older. Do you, you want to be starting something? Got Dion, to. I'm starting to feel that this person was full of shit. Yeah, he was definitely running game on you. I, I didn't know. Like, now that I look back and I was like, why would anybody, you know, Which just... Which is so crazy because you are one of the most least naive people I've ever Absolutely. met. Absolutely. That's what I was just thinking. I'm like, she knows every bullshit. She gives you the now side I of- do. I was 12 then. Yeah, yeah, but... And I learned that shit from dealing with him and other people in life. I guess. But I started to put, like, as I got older... After I had my second kid from him, I started to put shit together. You know, you look back and you like, oh, this shit ain't adding up. And then this skating ring money, it was always, I'm going to get skating ring money. But never told me what he had to do to get skating ring money. <laughs> Just left me in the car for an hour. <laughs> it's really something. But skating rinks, did you go skating? Yeah, he always took me skating. Yeah, he had to loosen that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> he could skate. He still Nigga, skates to this day. I got out my butt. Let's go skating. Skates like Brian Boitano. <laughs> yeah, he, he uh, I, I don't know. Um, that's the reason why I was asking if he was receiving or getting done is because the the, the price scale changes. <laughs> <laughs> right, absolutely. If, if you're getting fucked, you get more money, I think. I, I don't know, but this was, it was a, I didn't have a kid, so this was in 1984. Shit. I actually was born in 85. Yeah. So this was in 1984, so I don't know. I just know we would go over in that neighborhood where it was like Midtown, like the gay community, um, and that's where he got his skating ring money, and he would leave me in the car. So now that I put two and two together, I was like, oh. I think oh dude yeah, was on the other side sometimes. Definitely if you were in the car for two hours. Yeah. An hour, two hours, thirty minutes. It's just a quick and he come all out happy. Oh and then so I remember one day I was like, What are you doing? What was you doing? Oh no, no, they were just taking that nigga forever to give me the money. I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah, I bet it was. I bet yeah. it was taking him a long And time. I remember him saying that to me one day. And I cause when I start to remember a lot of stuff like with this dude is that he done me so wrong. So the brain is such a powerful. Yeah, you suppressed uh, a lot. Uh, the brain is so powerful, y'all. To I believe that it will block out stuff to keep you from hurting. So, cause like he'll say something to me, and he be trying to make me remember. And I said, I don't remember that. Yeah. He's like, What the fuck you mean you don't remember that? I said, I don't remember that. He told me one day. He said, All you remember is the bad stuff. I said, Was there anything good? 
Yeah, we went not to Florida. Legally. I said, no, we did not go to Florida. He was like, yes, we did. And he gets so mad at me because I can't remember stuff about him. Yeah, you can comp- you like Wait, everybody he- compresses their memories, but it is a it is a thing that you block out trauma. You don't remember trauma because it's a self protection mechanism for your brain. And to to heal from that, you've got to go and talk it out and unpack that. Like when my therapist explained it, it's like it all packs into your subconscious. And then you got to unpack it to deal with it. And you f- like, I felt every awful thing as I talked about stuff for the first time that I hadn't thought about in 20 years. And so you, you literally do feel the same exact emotions, but so did he it actually is, take you to Florida. He said he did. <laughs> was yeah. that the first time you went to the beach? Fake news. That's, <laughs> that's fake news. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember it. Like a lot, a lot of stuff. I do not remember. Like I tell you, so when I met him, I was twelve. I was a virgin. So that song, um, uh, saving. <laughs> that was kind of redundant. You didn't need to tell us. Okay. So that <laughs> song about Whitney you Houston. Um, you should be at that 12. song. <laughs> shut the fuck up. So like the song when I first met him, the first time I had sex with him, uh, <laughs> the music, the song I remember is "You Give Good Love" by Whitney Houston. Yes. I cannot listen to that song. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <I can't>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't if that that's the only and I love Whitney but I cannot listen to that fucking song yeah I literally cannot listen to that song and that's the only song that I hate by Whitney Houston because that was the it's associated with your trauma the first time you had yeah 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 I cannot then that song um I believe the children of the future Mm -hmm. oh that shit helped me out a lot when I was coming up because mom I I used to sit there and say what fucking children you talking about the future I'm like bitch you know we ain't got no food he roaches over here beating us up and shit (laughs) and I would talk to myself to that song (laughs) because you like because she made when she sung that song it would take me out of the ghetto it would take me out of that shitty situation I believe the children of the future Teach them well and let them lead the way. <laughs> Sexual chocolate. <laughs> no, nigga, not that one. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> that was good. You must be crazy. <laughs> Why no. you <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dear. I'm like, what? <laughs> Fuck Dion, we closing on that shit. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid. He didn't let me get my emotions out and shit. Sorry, Sex with chocolate. It. You sound just like Randy Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. We'll see y'all on the next episode. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of The Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. Please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.